Entrevistamos a tres investigadores científicos que están realizando importantes aportes para la población con síndrome de Down. Veamos un resumen de sus palabras. Nos encontramos con el doctor Joaquín Espinosa, director ejecutivo del Instituto INTA INC de la Universidad de Coronado. Buenas tardes, doctor, ¿cómo está? Estoy muy bien, muy contento de estar aquí con ustedes eh, y estar aquí en el National Down Syndrome Congress, el Congreso Nacional del Síndrome de Down. El proyecto del trisoma humano es un estudio de las personas con síndrome de Down, muchas personas con síndrome de Down, donde estudiamos sus características con la meta de poder ayudarlos a que vivan vidas más largas y de mejor calidad. Cuéntanos cómo podemos participar desde Costa Rica y cualquier parte del mundo. Muy bien, es muy importante que las personas con síndrome de Down y sus familias participen en los proyectos de la investigación, pueden participar en las clínicas locales ahí en Costa Rica, se pueden anotar en el registro que se llama DS Connect, ese es un registro en la computadora donde pueden entrar ahí todos sus datos para contribuir su información para la investigación científica. Hello. I'm here with Dr. Melissa Parvis from the National Institute of Health. Hello, doctor. How are you doing today? Thank you. I'm doing very well today, and I'm really excited to be here at this conference and meeting all kinds of kids and adults and families who have a loved one with Down syndrome. Well, we have been supporting over 250 different research projects on Down syndrome, but I'm going to highlight three for you today. The first one is looking at whether we can do sleep studies in the home rather than in the hospital to determine whether or not young people and adults with Down syndrome have something called sleep apnea which makes it really hard for them to get a good night's sleep. The second project I want to tell you about is one that's looking at whether or not there are particular treatments that might help people with Down syndrome who have skin conditions like hair loss or particular inflammation and skin lesions. And the third study I want to tell you about is looking at whether or not there are particular interventions that might help adults with Down syndrome to be protected from developing Alzheimer's disease as they get older. We really want to know which people are at risk to develop dementia and which might be protected perhaps by having a different lifestyle or by having a healthy diet or participating in exercise and social activities. So those are just three projects that we are we are using to study uh, Down syndrome. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. I appreciate the interview. Hello, Michel. Tell us about the Global Down Syndrome Foundation. What this organization doing? Thank you for asking me. The Global Foundation, the Global Down Syndrome Foundation works on research and medical care. And we are trying to elongate life and improve health outcomes for people with Down syndrome. We go to Washington DC with self-advocates with Down syndrome. And because they have such a loud voice, we're able to succeed in getting hundreds of millions of dollars for Down syndrome research and medical care. So we're very proud and we really count on people like you. I think you need to come to Denver and the United States, and then we need to go to Costa Rica and do a cultural and work exchange for mutual benefit for people with Down syndrome. And then of course, we can join each other's committees 
co-invest in research and medical care and make sure that our resources are in Spanish and that they're acculturalized to the people in Costa Rica. Can you send a message to people with Down syndrome and their families who see us on social media? Yes, of course, because of you, Charlie, and the work of the Costa Rican Down Syndrome Association, one, I can say you are loved, and two, I can say our future together is very bright. Thank you.